Hi, today I'm going to share with you a great all-purpose sauce that can be used as a base for many sauces and gravies. You can cook it in batches and freeze for convenience. So here are our ingredients. You're going to need a quarter of a cup of rapeseed oil, a third of a cup of plain all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of tomato puree, one roughly chopped carrot, and one roughly chopped onion, and one litre of beef stock. I've used two oxo cubes in a litre of water. I'm using a heavy base saucepan here. Let's get the oil in. So now that my oil is quite hot, you can see it's just starting to smoke just a little. I'm going to turn the heat down and I'm going to add my flour. And I'm going to let that cook off for a few minutes until it reaches a sandy texture, stirring it continuously. Be careful not to let this burn. So I would do this over a medium heat. You want to reach a light brown colour. I think we're getting close now. I'm going to switch off the heat and let it cool just for a few minutes before we add the tomato puree. Now that our flour mixture has cooled, let's add the tomato puree. Once you've mixed it in, you can add your hot stock, slowly at first. At this point, if you want to use a balloon whisk, you can do so just to bring it all together and make sure that you have a lovely smooth sauce. Et voila! Turn the heat back on. Give it a bit of a stir and then you're ready to add your carrots and onions. You can fry these off in a bit of oil separately if you want. I don't bother. So we can now bring back to boiling point and then turn the heat down and simmer gently for four to six hours. Occasionally stirring to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Today I'm going to use my pressure cooker and I'm going to cook this for 40 minutes just to speed things up. Time to take a look inside. Lovely. So, time to strain our brown sauce. I'm using a colander. You could use a sieve. Look at that amazing russet silky sauce. So now we're going to return it to the pan.
we're going to work up the heat and we're going to add 500 milliliters of beef stock. Again, I've used one beef oxo cube for 500 mils. Just mix this briefly. And then we're going to rapidly boil this until it reduces by half. So roughly gauge where it is in your pan and keep an eye on it, stirring occasionally to make sure it doesn't catch. And then when it's reduced by half, we'll take it off. So you can see it's coming along nicely. I'm just going to skim some of the scum off the top here. may not be necessary, but if you see any scum appearing, then you can remove it. Oh, I think we're done. Nicely reduced by half. Beautiful, silky, rich sauce. Et voila! We've now created a typical, classic French demi-glace. Our delicious sauce is now ready to pop into these extra large ice cube trays before popping in the freezer. I bought these on Amazon and they're really useful. You can do lots of things in them. You can pop in some herbs in them to freeze, leftover juices, and then they're in easy portion size blocks for ease of use later on.